quiet dawn of the dense parquet tiger reserve. A rare and haunting call echoes through the mist. This is the cry of the white-winged duck, one of the world's most endangered birds. Once a common sight across Northeast India and Southeast Asia, today fewer than 800 of these elusive creatures remain in the wild. In this episode, we journey to Arunachal Pradesh, home to nearly 200 of these majestic birds, to uncover the urgent plight they face and the delicate balance of their fragile existence. Join us as we explore the story of survival and the fight to save the white-winged duck from the brink of extinction. When I first heard about the white-winged duck, I immediately wanted to know more. How could such a beautiful bird, once so common, become so rare? I remember looking at the pictures of them and wondering how something so beautiful could be fading away. What really shocked me was that only about 800 of them are left in the wild and just 200 of those are here. The best person to learn more about this issue would be Dr. Aftab, a biologist at WTI who is heading the research work at the CBRC Center. I am Aftab. I work as a biologist for Wildlife Trust of India. So I, uh, I've been working for Wildlife Trust of India for a while now. I've worked in different projects for WTI. So this white-winged duck, white duck is one of the very rare species of duck found in Northeast India. So it's, there are around 200, 300 ducks left. And globally there are 800 ducks sort of left. So this is a very endangered species, very elusive, and everyone sort of is interested in this species. In the, you know, any biologist who is working in wildlife would, be, would love to work in white winged duck. So when I started this project, I, I didn't know that the situations were so bad for this duck. So there are around 200 ducks. 200 is a very small number for a species. So you know, even a small disease can wipe out the duck and it can go extinct. It lives in a very deep forest. So what sort of inspires me is that, you know, that there are very small population of this duck and there's no one is working on it and you know to see this duck people are coming from you know they're coming all over the world people are coming to see for this duck so you know the forest in Assam mostly in the plain areas has been you know deforested over the last 50 years or something and this is a duck that needs forest to live so as the forest went down the ducks went down and also as you know, as the forest opened up, people went, more people went inside and, you know, this is a duck. So, it be, hunting was also one of the causes of this, uh, you know, of their decline. Really now, the duck is almost in a very scattered, small population, 10, 20 ducks in small, small forest in our Assam and Arunachal left. And that's all we have right now. We have been working there for the last one or two years, is that we are trying to involve local naturalists in monitoring and conserving these ducks. So, now these people are sort of you know, the first line of defense. So anything happens to that area, any protection, they are the one who will always monitor. So we have, right now we have a monitoring team, local monitoring team in Assam, sort of constantly monitoring. So this, I think, you know, it's impact. This is one thing we are, we are trying this model that we have to involve local communities for the protection of this duck. You know, it's, there's no other way to do it. Now is, we are the one who are doing it. So we are sort of the uh, main uh, primary research group that is working on this uh, duck right now. But in a, it is found all over Southeast Asia. So we are also in contact, contact with other uh, you know, groups working in other parts like other, other countries. So we keep on getting information from them also. So it's more like you know, we have to have a network of people who are working in this and that's how you keep yourself updated. So when we started four years ago, we didn't even know where the ducks were. We didn't know how much the population was, where the ducks were. Right now with our surveys and our work that we've been doing, so far. Now we know where the ducks are. So we know forest areas. We have identified those areas that needs to be protected. We identified areas in Arunachal that needs to be protected. So I would say right now the project sort of accomplished this in a way. And so what we did was after we got this data from the field, we have worked with the Assam Forest Department and we, we developed a conservation strategy plan for them. So now we have a formal strategy plan how to save the duck, which is a document. So it's not only us, any organization can read that document and say, okay, we'll use this to, you know, it is a guideline you can use to conserve the duck. In our journey with the white winged duck, we have seen how fragile and precious these birds are. Their survival depends on our actions. By supporting 
conservation efforts and spreading awareness we can help protect them next time we'll focus on the asiatic bear a species now listed as vulnerable join us to uncover the challenges they face and the efforts to protect them today 200 tomorrow the number depends on us